from heart-pounding near misses to eyebrow-raising decisions. This video will have you on the edge of your seat, questioning what could possibly happen next. Let's start right away. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. Even if there are no signals or gates, be vigilant and check for approaching trains. No, he legit turned right in front of. I don't know if he got a ticket. This happened at Williamstown, Sickleville Road. This dash cam will help the insurance a great deal. Some guy just went off the road, he plowed into me. <laughs> this is piled up due to tailgating a police car. I hope the seatbelts and airbags did their job as well. The driver of the cube is determined at fault by insurance. Stay alert, people. That is truly a close call. How lucky are they? Let's like and subscribe so that they don't miss any Fortunately, there was no vehicle in the oncoming lane. What is going on? Hope the driver is fine. As a driver, I would normally avoid traveling next to a truck. Best to quickly overtake. You just never know what will happen. Oh. Oh. What was wrong with him? Glad there were no injuries. Yeah, 
A winter storm that blew through Utah in March of 2020 caused a chain reaction incident in Wyoming. The time to open the road is 28 hours after the event. Yeah, this is the blue truck right here. So we're, we're, oh, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you examine attentively, you can see that the ground cracked after the bus passed. Glad the driver's okay. <laughs> People always used to speed down the street. Finally, the town put in a speed bump. Despite the signs, people flew over it, causing some damage to their vehicles. <laughs> if you're unsure of your car's height, width, and length, you should glance at the vehicle's inspection certification once. Man, don't do that. Yes. Oh, yes. okay, good. Yes. Yeah. He was driving along the expressway. Suddenly, it dropped out of a trailer and hit his car. Badly unlucky, and the dash cam can't capture the trailer plate number. This is a similar case. Oh, it's truly instant karma. This makes me satisfied. Oops, pay more attention, man. It's just that you don't have enough distance between you and the other car behind you. Pay attention, guy. This was in Montreal City, Canada. Can't believe he leaves his car in front of the driveway and runs away. Do not imitate this. He should have turned on the turn signal so that he could merge. This is the moment of a train derailment in New Iberia, Louisiana after colliding with a truck. No one was hurt. Understand that even if a train is visible, it may take a significant distance for it to come to a complete stop. So don't try to beat them. Bravo. Thankfully, he wasn't involved in this mess. Remember, the three-second rule helps prevent rear-end collisions, one of the most common types of incidents. Far too much lean angle that was needed and a lack of progressive throttle roll-on. Glad he's okay. Well, this driver decides not to bother waiting for him to go past. Just pretend he's not there instead. This is the moment police arrest two robbery suspects who led them on a wild car chase in Los Angeles. Oops, notorious intersection for people not following the rules. Not the intersection design or anything else to do with it. Try to remain patient. The 
and road situations can change, and it's essential to prioritize safety over rushing to a destination. Bravo! Everyone did a great job! Driving defensively, reduce speed when driving through puddles, and avoid sudden movements to prevent hydroplaning. The driver of a Volkswagen Polo did not notice the road worker's truck in time, which was moving along the left lane. Thanks to the strong fender, he managed to avoid swimming in the Gulf of Finland. What a nightmare. It appears like there isn't enough time to react. Pray that everyone is okay. I did not see that one coming. Guess he fell asleep. Things happened on the 19th of July in 2018 at 8am in Malta. Lesson learned, even if you are in the wrong lane and realize that at the last moment, stay in the wrong lane and figure out how to turn around. Roads aren't hard to use correctly, you just adhere to traffic rules and signs. A driver cut across from the left to try to get to the right and lightly impacted the road sign in the UK. It is good that the driver admitted it was his fault. Unbelievable, a pigeon causes three car pileup in Russia. Nobody was injured. It says wheels kept turning. The driver pressed the accelerator pedal instead of the brake pedal out of panic. No, 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 stop, man. What is he thinking? Whoops, it's truly karma. Just hope everyone yields to each other. Trust me, let's inspect the hitch and connection between the car and the trailer before you travel. Don't do that. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy your video, leave a remark below with the number one. Wow, the wind is no joke. Luckily, nobody was injured. Hope everyone still remembers this. The three-second rule is a common guideline for determining a safe following distance. It's obvious that this is an electrical vehicle. I'm curious how to maintain these cars. Are there any electric car owners? Well, this route appears to require extra lighting. Pay more attention, guys. Hey man, never, ever, ever swerve in a semi. Anyway, they're all right. Oh no, did he fall asleep? Stay alert, man. Always remember the height of the vehicles. Not every day is this fortunate for us. Guy, be patient and take the next exit if you miss the original one.
Hey man, avoid passing on areas with limited visibility. Drive cautiously on wet roads, everyone. This is a You can witness close call for a Nevada Highway Patrol Trooper. Fortunately, everyone is all right. Huh? What was he thinking? Do not imitate this. And this is the same case. That was close. Thankfully, in this case, everyone walked away without a scratch. If only the silver card did not rush to avoid the black car. Keep calm is the key to not losing control. Remember, folks. No way. What is going on? Glad the driver's all right. That is why I only go out below freezing if the roads are dry. Glad he's okay. Oops, I think it's a very easy way to get rid of that case. Anyway, he is fine. What? Stay in your lane, bro. What are you thinking? Don't do that. If you pose a risk to other people's lives or property, you'll be accountable to the law. Do not imitate this. Oh, God. Who is at fault in this case? Let me know your opinion in the comment below. Oh, God. Oops. Activate your turn signal well before you intend to change lanes, bro. Fortunately, all of them are okay. Oh no, how did he get his driver's license? At least there were no injuries. How lucky he is! We have a lesson here. Stop driving when you feel asleep. So, who ended up paying for that? What do you think about this situation? This is a chase that occurred in Atlanta, USA. Anyways, cops caught this man and he was trying to climb over the fence. Ah, oh, no. Never attempt to elude the cops. You will be unable to do so. The truck was suspected of having brake failure, ran rampant, collided with two telephone poles and one streetlight. Glad there were no injuries. The previous several days has been a nightmare of mine. Guys, drive carefully on black ice.
Luckily, there were no pedestrians at that time. Well, this is why I always keep a safe distance from the truck. Luckily, it didn't hit any vehicle. Oh my, I think we need another angle to know what's going on. Pray that all of them are all right. No, bro, stop it. Do not imitate this, folks. I don't want to blame anyone. I think there should be barriers at every crossing when trains come. A hobby of mine to have an exact knowledge of them. Bravo! Well done, bro! Kudos for turning on the hazard lights and handling the situation so well. No! How could a single lane accommodate two large trucks? Avoid making hasty lane changes, man. Guys, don't suddenly brake as it can lead to skidding on the wet surface. Use gentle and controlled braking to maintain traction. Wow, amazingly, how bikes slide through the gap between cars without even a single scratch inflicted. She's okay. Luckily, he is safe. Oh no, people driving so fast on crappy roads. Avoid driving 70 miles per hour on ice. Seriously, folks. That's why I always slow down when approaching intersections. Glad there were no injuries. Is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. No way! He is impatient and doesn't turn around to look at the rearview mirror at all. Do not imitate this. Like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with a number one. At least he was warned that hell was coming. Do not imitate this. You can see an allegedly stolen truck leading during a chase the streets of Los Angeles. He eventually gave himself up to the police. I recognize this place, Long Beach Traffic Circle.
This is not a roundabout issue, but an issue of a car not looking to make sure the blind spot was clear with the turn of the head. Is what I'm saying. David, there must be 60, 70 seaports in England. Jesus yes, I know. That's why I said it might take a few more days. Among the not libertarian parts of the right. Trump is also popular. Nice job with the lane change. You saw what was up. Um, parking fee versus Porsche single-sided rear taillight. Which one is more expensive? Stay alert, bro. I'm confused at how so many people do not understand you need to stay in your lane when you're turning. When a vehicle turns, a centrifugal force is exerted on it, pushing it away from the center of the curve. The speed of the vehicle directly influences the strength of this force. Slow down, man. After a chase hit speeds of 145 miles per hour, a woman was seen on a dash cam video running from police. Then she was arrested and charged with a DUI. Oh dear, what a nightmare. Luckily, these guys avoided being involved by stopping in time. It's a pretty nice Volvo and BMW. At least no one was hurt. Bravo, a professional driver. Well done, mate. Good thing all of them are fine. I believe I've talked about this enough. Keep a safe distance, please. No, don't do that, bro. Until the cops arrive, remain at the site. No way, stay in your lane. Ah, careless. I have no words. I have to watch this like five times. How does someone whack a trailer like that? Oh, turn your head to check blind spots before changing lanes, man. Be particularly cautious around larger vehicles, such as trucks. Oh dear, this truck tried to go through an 11 foot underpass. Only problem was, the trailer was 14 feet. My dad drives trucks like that, and when the wind is even questionable, it's really best to stop. Hmm, did folks see this every day in January? Hope he can get out of that parking lot soon.
Never stop on the railroad tracks, even if traffic is backed up. If your vehicle stalls or stops for any reason, evacuate immediately and get away from the vehicle. No one was injured in this case. Oh my, why speed reducers are not placed at every turning? Some simple solutions will fix this zone. Thankfully, this driver is safe. That's black ice. Luckily, he is fine. This is a similar case. He's okay. Well, at least he quickly swerved and avoided a catastrophe. No one got hurt in this case. Whoops! When the traffic in front suddenly stops, it is best to drive defensively. Don't just tailgate to the car in front of you and drive. <laughs> Is there any way to stop that from happening? Let's share your knowledge with everyone. What is wrong with people nowadays? They just drive off like nothing happened. Don't do that, bro. What? He doesn't look in mirrors at all? Stay alert, man. Who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. It looks like a blind spot. Fortunately, nobody was seriously injured. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our videos, leave a comment below with a number one. Wow, that is so close. Luckily, there were no injuries. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.